Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic Course Service Now Learning. So in this video, we are going to talk about the JavaScript we use while scripting in Service Now platform. In this JavaScript tutorial series, I will be focusing on JavaScript fundamentals and basics we should know while scripting in Service Now platform. So let's begin. So friends, in Service Now. We do platform scripting, which means by using JavaScript, we can do complex configurations and behavior in ServiceNow platform. So the question is that what is JavaScript? So let me give you a brief of it in terms of ServiceNow first. So JavaScript is an object oriented scripting language which runs within a browser and it does not need a license. JavaScript engine in ServiceNow supports the ECMAScript 5 and ECMAScript 2021 standards. Okay, so here the another term which is mentioned over here is complex configurations. So in ServiceNow platform, ServiceNow recommend to do configuration first. So if the configuration is not possible, then the script comes into picture to achieve the specific requirement. So let me give you an example of it first. So let's say you receive a requirement in service now where you have to implement something. So what you have to do first, you have to make sure that whether the script is needed or not, is there any way through which you can achieve the same? You have to see are you able to achieve 80% of the requirement via configuration instead of scripting? If yes, then you have to go for a configuration or if the answer is no, then you have to go for a scripting for that complex configuration. Okay, so let's see what all things we are going to cover in this series, what all JavaScript fundamentals and basics we are going to learn in this service not javascript tutorial series so friends this is table of content the first is important overview and setup we are talking about the same currently then we have variables arithmetic operators string and special characters data type conversion if statement and boolean logic ternary operator switch statement while loop for loop do while loop nested loop functions try catch finally statements database query arrays array for each common array methods array utils most importantly object array of objects json stringify and parse recursion classes passing object to functions class inheritance scripted rest apis currently i have made a list of 27 concepts by going forward i will be adding more concepts into it but if you have practiced all these 27 concepts believe me you can easily do a scripting in service now platform so i think now we are good to go so let's see what is the first requirement we should have prior learn scripting in service now so the first thing is the personal development instance i believe if you have that then it's okay if you don't have that please create a personal development instance in service now i have already created a video for the same you can refer that video that how you can create a personal development instance okay first you have to create that and you can also install an extension that is sn utils that is optional but if you are installing it definitely it's a tool which will be helping you a lot while doing a scripting in service now there are few other questions which we should know before starting with our first script. The questions are when to write the script as I already discussed you earlier, right? When to write the script. The another question is where to script execute. You should know, right? Where you have to write the script and from where the script execute, right? You should be aware of that. The third one is who can script in service. Now there are specific roles. The person who is having that role can only script in service now. We will be also talking about this in this video. So let's see when to write the script. So you can write the script when there is a requirement to add new functionality, when you have to make some changes in existing functionality or you have to automate the processes or if you have to interact with the third party application then you can write the script. 
these are the few scenarios where the scripting is required but first you have to make sure either it is possible through the configuration or not if it is not possible through the configuration then we have to make it possible by writing the script in service now platform so let's see the another question that is where do the script execute so script execute client side so client side script have access to data on forms and in list so let me demonstrate you in service now platform first so friends this is my service now development instance so as mentioned in the slide that client side script have access to data on forms and in list so forms are basically these these we call forms okay and these we call list okay so client side script can be written in client scripts ui scripts and ui policies okay so these are basically the areas where we have to write the client script let me give you example of it client script you can type client script in this filter navigator see here so here we have a client script section if we want to execute something on a form side or something on a list side we can write that code over here just you have to click on new and then you have to give some information here we have a syntax editor where we can write the code okay there are other sections too like ui scripts ui policies and etc where we can write the client script so what all we can achieve through the client side scripting is that to show or hide fields for example in a form let's say if you want to sh uh, show some fields let's say you want to show category fields so you can write the code over here is there any other field you want to show you can write the code over there okay the same you can perform through ui policies also and if you hide some field you can write that code in client script or either you can perform the same activity using ui policies okay so later on we will be covering those stuff too even though i have also made a video on ui policies and client script uh, you can also refer the same to get a more understanding on that part this tutorial is related to javascript so i am just giving a brief of it that where all we can write the script what is basically client side what is basically a server side right just to give a better understanding prior starting learning the concepts of javascript for service now platform okay here now another we have a server side scripting means if we have to deal with database records it means if we have to create a record if we have to read a record which we have in the database if we have to delete the record or if we have to update the record then whatever script we have to write that is basically a server side scripting server side script we can write in business rule we can write in script include we can write in script actions and etc same as client side, client script we also have a section for business rule where we have a syntax editor we also have a syntax editor in scripting include we have to write a script over there okay so for business rule and script include understanding you can also check the videos we have that in our channel so through server side scripting you can trigger a flow you can modify our database record and you can do lots of other activities we will be taking care of all those things while implementing the things because whatever we are learning uh, in javascript we will be learning through some examples right so probably those areas will also be covered there the another one is mid server let's say if you have to integrate with third party application then for that you can also write a script over there let's say you have a, a scripted rest api where you have to write the code right so in that way you also have to write the script over there now the another question is who can do scripting in service now platform so the first and the most important person who can write the script that is system administrator user with admin role who manages all the features and application and data in the platform that is system administrator and the role required for that is admin the another person who can do that scripting in a granular level that is system definition administrator it's a more granular administrative roles who manages a specific system definition definition for example i want that xyz person can only write script in client scripts he cannot write script in business rule or in script include so i can provide that specific role to him so that 
he can only write the script on that section only so there are lots of roles let's say script include admin ui policy admin client script admin let's say if a person has a script in a client script admin role then he can only write the client script he cannot write the server side script or if i want a person can only write the script include then i will be providing him a role that is script include admin i think it gives you a better understanding right now the another person is application administrator okay so the application administrator is managing all the features and data of any application custom admin role to administrator who maintain that application for example hrsd csm there are specific applications where a person has a specific application administrator role from that roles he can only manage that application he cannot manage the global application so i think we are done with the three questions so we are ready to go with our first script so let's understand the same practically so friends let's navigate to service node development instance so this is my service node personal development instance as i showed you earlier okay so here let's type background script first so in this background script we have a editor okay this is displaying as this particular ui because i already have a sn utils in my browser okay so this is basically a syntax editor which basically allows you to run a specific code just to test and see whatever outputs you need okay this is basically just to check the code or just to see whatever you want to achieve prior going to write in different sections like say business role script include what you can do you can write a piece of code over here in that manner let's say gs dot uh, info and you can just print a message that i am running a javascript for service now platform and just run it see in that way you can write a code and see what exactly the output okay so now let's see the other sections where like you can write the script as we have said earlier that a client script so go here type client script let's say if you have to try for a client script let's say this is client script section open the client script here then go to new okay so let's say i am telling you a very basic syntax currently just for understanding let's say uh, client javascript or we say client side javascript okay so let's select the table incident you can select the table accordingly the requirement let's say if changes needs to be done in a problem changes has to be done for a change management then accordingly the table has to be selected i am giving a demonstration so far that i have selected an incident only there is a ui type that what areas where where you are looking for mobile or desktop or all okay and there here we have a syntax editor where we can write the script so let's select what kind of client script you are looking for i want the client script which basically execute on load means every time when the form loads the script gets executed so give i am giving a very basic of it currently alert i am saying let's learn service now javascript okay only single sentence and let's save it so once we are loading the incident form see this one so every time it will be displaying as a alert see in this way okay it's a very basic very basic alert only just for understanding that where we have to write the script for that i am just giving example okay let's say if you have to write a server side script you can write that in a background script also just to check or either you can also write in the business rule so i'll giving you a server side script example uh, in a background script okay here earlier i have given to write so let's say server side script is basically just to deal with the database okay so i am saying where gr equals to new glide record and i am also taking example of incident over here that is i n c i d e n t okay so you are assuming that 
this is this client record is a javascript no it's basically a service now class but this where gr is basically a javascript okay so here i am saying gr dot add active query you can gr dot query while gr dot next okay gs dot info and gr dot get value and i need a value of number so here i have written some code now you are thinking that we are the javascript and what all is happening right so let me give you a brief of it first that i have just written the code just to give a understanding of a server side code and how we can write that code and how we can achieve that thing we will be starting learning javascript concepts but just for an example i am telling you that in that way we can use a basics of javascript in service now platform so here this see while is basically is the syntax of javascript where is the syntax of javascript right okay in that way we will be using other concepts of javascript while doing scripting in service now platform so here what we are doing this is basically a service now class that is glide record which is basically used to deal with database this is a table name over here here we are saying that using that object that whatever active records are there filter those records by them then we are querying database and we are saying print all the database while we have the records in it okay let's run it so it is displaying me all the incidents see those who are active in a instance okay so in that way basically we are using a javascript with service now classes okay to achieve the required thing i believe now you have a idea that in what manner basically we have to javascript so we are not going to learn each and everything that javascript have we are going to learn in this series that what all concepts what what all fundamentals basically we need to do scripting in service now platform and believe me after learning all those 27 concepts while doing scripting you will find it very easy to implement the requirement basically we have covered the first section that is important overview and the setup in the another session we will be covering the other topics okay the the content which i have shared in this ppt i have posted all that content in my website that is i have shared in this link and i will also sharing this link in this video description you can find those links over there and you can find all the details which i have given uh, in this video the content and all the script section okay friends so friends if you feel that this video is helpful for you then only please like and subscribe and if you feel that this video is not helpful then please provide your suggestions and feedback in below comment section so at least we can add other things in our video so that at least it will be helpful for you so thank you friends have a nice day bye bye take care